Welcome everyone, this is Zon with Repo Products. Today's video is on Dynamo and Revit and how to use Dynamo to not only calculate the room occupancy load, but to push that information into the room objects as well as export them out to Excel. Uh, just for those who are not aware, I did a previous video just on how to use Dynamo to calculate the room occupancy load of a room when you select the room. This one is slightly different. Here I am in Revit 2018. I head over to Dynamo, which is under the Manage tab of the ribbon. Click Dynamo, and the program will open up, and it will create a link between the Dynamo player interface and also with Revit and the current app Revit model you have open. Let's go ahead and open up that particular um, script, and we'll look at this script. So this one basically says that you're exporting the room name, number, and occupancy loads to Excel, and then pushing it back into the Revit model. Uh, and this is just a little script, a uh, text dialog box for you to input content. <clears throat> it's good for you when you're starting to learn Revit to group things as well and color code them as well to make it easier. So the first box of information and nodes basically says, to look at all the elements of a specific category, in this case the rooms, and pull out the specific parameters that you need. Get those parameters, the name, the number, and the area. Once that information is pulled out, use it to calculate the occupancy load and push it into the model. So in this particular box here, you have nodes that specify the allowable area per occupant, the formula, which is just a division of the occupant load area divided by the allowable area per occupant. Then you have a uh, math ceiling um, node that basically says round up to the next whole number. From there, take all of that information and create the list that we need and uh, set the parameter for the occupant load par uh, parametric value that's in the room object push it back into the object itself. Once that information is pushed back into the Revit model, export that out, write it out to Excel. And this one basically says, take it to this particular location, and um, uh, the name of the file is kind of a long name, but um, you have Excel write to file, you have the path name, you have the sheet name, the start, row and column locations, uh, and also the data that it's using, which is the list of information that we pulled from here that's been transposed to sort the information necessary out. And then I also put in a node here that allows us to input the columns headers as well, number, name, area, and occupant load. So uh, I'm going to move this panel over here a little bit. And then if we just run the script, because if uh, for those who uh, watch the previous video on occupancy load with Dynamo, that one required you to select an individual room to get that data. This one, if I just run it, it should automatically run, pull that data out, and give me those results, and it will open up Excel, which is blinking down here. Now, if I open it up, you'll see it says room name, number, area, and occupant load. If we look at the actual Dynamo script now that the um, the script has been ran, you can see the results during each of the nodes. So for example, over here you see the names and the number and the area data that's getting pulled out. And you know, um, if you need to, you can move these a little bit just to get a little clearer, clearer visibility of what you're looking at, like that. And then over here you can see that it's calculating the data out. And if we move this up a little bit, we can see the information. And as you can see, it's not a whole number. So that's why the math ceiling is there to get those numbers. And then the list that's created for the, um, the data. And then that occupant load information is pushed into those rooms. And the rooms just have, you know, the Revit user ID specific numbers. If I minimize this or just move this over, and go back to the Revit model. If we look at the Revit model and we select a room, 
we can see the occupant load is now showing here at 112. We can select another room, say this one over here, and we can see that value here. And this, this is mirrored, that's why it's the same value. But if I select gathering A, it'll say 40. If I select, say, this other room here, it says 17. And if I go to the Excel file, which you saw earlier, it shows all of that information gets pushed into the Excel file, as well as uh, pushed out to the Excel file, as well as that data being pushed into the room objects themselves. Now, uh, one last thing of note, this occupant load parameter is a project parameter, so you need to make sure that you have it created. And if I look at that project parameter called occupant load and I modify it, you'll see it's called occupant load. The discipline is common. It's set to an integer. And it's looking at the room objects themselves. That's why it's checked over here. Without you setting this up, the script will not run because, as you saw in the script file, it had um, occupant load as a parameter that it was pulling out and inputting data. Thank you very much for watching.